Good afternoon, everyone. This is Ramona coming to you from Social Media How-Tos with Ramona. In addition to being a social media trainer and consultant, I also have published 30 plus prayer journals, journals, and pretty notebooks on Amazon. So in today's video, we're not going to talk about social media, but what we're going to talk about is publishing on Amazon and then coming across an error when you go to upload your manuscript to KDP. Before we get started, I just want to let you know that in this video, I am using Microsoft Word. So a few times when I've published on Amazon KDP, what I've come across is from time to time, the fonts are not embedded. So I'll get an error message on Amazon KDP that says that the fonts are not embedded and that Amazon will embed the fonts for me. Then to me, that's a little scary because I don't know what that book's going to look like if I allow Amazon to go ahead and embed those fonts. So here are a few things that worked for me. So recently, I just self-published a book for a client. And at this particular time, I came across that error message that said the fonts were not embedded. So the font that I used was Garamond. Now, Garamond is the font that I generally use for my journals and for any books that I've self-published for clients in the past. But for some reason this time, it gave me the embed error. So I'm going to show you four different ways if you get this message that you can try to see if this helps to get rid of that error when you upload your manuscript. The first fix is what most people will tell you to do, but for some reason in this case, it did not work. So the first thing you can try to avoid the font not embedded error is to go to your Word document, click on File, Save As. You're going to browse to where you're going to save your file. And in the Save As dialog box, where it says Save As Type, click on the drop down arrow and select PDF. Next, you're going to go ahead and click Save. And this will save the file as a PDF file that you should be able to go ahead and upload and not get the font not embedded error. If that doesn't work, use the option that Amazon KDP actually recommends on their formatting page. Go to File, Options, click on Save over on the left. Next, click on Embed Fonts in the file and then click on Embed Only the Characters and do not embed common system fonts. Go ahead and click OK. And then now you can upload the Word document to Amazon KDP. That's not something that I really trust either. So what I do when I embed the fonts this way, I go ahead and save the file again as a PDF. So again, I go to File, Save As, Browse to my computer, click on the drop down under Save As Type and click on PDF and then I click Save again. This, once again, saves your file as a PDF, which you can go ahead and upload to Amazon KDP. Now, I did see a couple of people on YouTube that said that they actually went to Adobe Acrobat and saved the Acrobat file as a PDF, which I really didn't understand because if you're in Acrobat, isn't it already an, a PDF? And they may have had the full-blown version of Acrobat, but what I saw them do, and this may work for you if you have the same version as them, is they would go to File, and then they would do Save As, and then save their file as a PDF. Now, the only thing that I could see on mine, and again, I don't have the paid version of Acrobat, is you can convert a file to Microsoft Word, rich text, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. But for some reason, some of these people actually had PDF in there. So try that if you're still unable to get your fonts embedded. Now, the fourth way that you can embed your fonts so that you can upload your manuscript to Amazon is what actually worked for me this time. The first way worked every other time. This time, for some reason, none of these worked for me except this fourth way that I'm going to show you. What I did again from Word is I went to File, I clicked on Export, and then I clicked on this Create PDF button. Next, I clicked on Options, 
At the very bottom of the options box, I check the box that says ISO underscore 19005 PDF slash A. Now, if you watch any of Amazon KDP's videos, they will tell you that it says PDF forward slash X. So if yours says X or A, go ahead and check that box and click OK. Next, go ahead and click Publish. This again will create a PDF for you that you can then go ahead and upload to KDP's manuscript section. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so that you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. Once again, this is Ramona from Social Media How To's with Ramona. And with that, I want to say have an amazing day.